What started out last year as Bill C-11 in the Canadian House of Commons has now become established law. What does that ultimately mean? Does it mean that free speech has been crushed in Canada? Well, spoilers, we never had free speech to begin with, but what does that ultimately mean for Canadian content creators? Now, depending on what kind or what types of views that they express, spoilers, the types of views that I express, well, you might be seeing them less and less and less, not because they aren't putting out the same type of content and the same quality of content no it's because the algorithms of these social media platforms are going to be controlled by the canadian broadcasting company and their ilk the crtc is requiring fealty from all of the social media platforms under penalty of law and one of the first person or one of the first people organizations to speak up against this is elon musk and x which is you know fantastic good on them i'm still waiting maybe it's out by now i don't know when this video is going to be coming out because well this is just going to be an ever-present problem until a new regime comes into power in canada and we're still a couple of years out on that so for the time being we can just set the stage and let you know what's actually going on elon musk torches trudeau for trying to crush free speech in canada oh elon we don't have it it's not really enshrined in our constitution well our charter of rights and freedoms so you can't crush something if it doesn't exist so i guess that's a good thing ex owner elon musk uh, to er, took to his own platform on sunday to blast canadian prime minister justin trudeau's liber her liberal controlled government and it also if you haven't been paying attention to elon musk's x account like that dude's going off lately on everything and some of it's pretty spicy it's it's old school elon musk if you know you know and if you don't go check it out for yourself and it offer uh, over its efforts to control and censor the free expression of the people trudeau is trying to crush free speech in canada musk post uh, or posted on x shameful the tech mogul was reacting to a post by american journalist Gra or glenn greenwald who wrote and i actually got the official post right there we don't need to go ahead and see somebody else's the canadian government armed with one of the world's most Impressive online censorship schemes announces that all online online streaming services that offer podcasts must formally register with the government to permit regulatory controls. Yeah, remember how all of this started? If you guys don't know, and I know I did a video on this, I can't quite remember exactly what it is, but I know I have it up there. They said, no, 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 online cut. No, that's fine. We just want to have regulation over all the new streaming services that are going to be out there. But no, what did they end up doing? regulating youtube and rumble and even x when they offer their new video hosting services we're just gonna go ahead and meddle in all that stuff come on now don't worry about it. it'll be fine we're just here to make sure that canadian content gets pushed what type of canadian content the stuff that is amenable to the uh, liberal government of canada of course uh greenwall shared a screenshot of the link to the canadian government website the details a so-called regulatory plan to modernize canada's broadcasting framework also have that pulled up and we'll read through that in order to get the skinny on that see what we can gleam from it the canadian government notes that it will ensure online streaming services make meaningful contributions to canada and indigenous content what does that mean pay us or you're not allowed to escape the great firewall of canada which is upcoming, I would imagine. Currently, the Canadian government's new rules will apply to individuals who are bringing in revenue greater than $10 million. Whew, I'm glad I'm not a part of that club yet. Hopefully, God willing, you know, with your guys' support. <laughs> uh, like, comment, no, I'm joking. Don't, don't, actually don't. Uh, the news comes after Joe Biden attacked Elon Musk's platform uh, for a supposed increase of misinformation ever since it has uh, been acquired. Yeah, by adding those additional... They're about a 90-95% hit rate with the community notes boxes. Like, sometimes they're good, other times that they're just atrocious. You can really tell when the Ron DeSimps are on the panel deciding on what is true and what isn't. But more often than not, they're hilarious. And they do offer some good resources and do redirect you. It's not just simple opinion, for the ones that I've seen at least. Where do people go to get their news? Biden asked hypothetically as he discussed X. Oh, they, 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 they,
they, they, they, they go online. They, they, they go and, you know, I have no notion whether it's, whether it's true or not. Yeah. So instead go to the government who, you know, are legendary for their ability to tell the truth and uh, be honest with the general population. Right? Oh yeah, of course. No. So Biden is probably more than likely eyeing up this piece of legislation, which is, oh, just this side of tyrannical CRTC takes a major steps to war or forward to modernize Canada's broadcasting framework. So this just came out right at the end of September, going in for full implementation by the end of November. Okay. Uh, oh yes. Uh, the Can uh, Canadian radio, television, and telecommunications commissions our version of the FCC. Okay. Got it. Okay. Today, the CRTC is advancing its regulatory plan to modernize. There's nothing modern about this. This is once again, just putting everything under the government banner to make sure that you guys only hear information government wants you to hear and broadcasting framework to ensure online streaming services, make meaningful contributions to Canada and indigenous content total horseshit uh on uh, may 12 2023 the crtc launched its first public uh consultations after thoroughly examining all the evidence on the public record including over 200 inter her interventions over 200 fantastic which ones we don't need to know that uh the crtc is issuing its first two decisions first the crtc is setting out which online streaming services need to provide information about their activities in canada you remember you might be able to cast your mind back to when Russell Brand was really going through it in regards to Rumble and the UK government set over this very, very nefariously written letter telling him you need to demonetize him because we want you to. We also sent it out to everybody else. Why won't you just be more like YouTube and Rumble for what they're worth decided to tell them to go straight to hell. This is basically laying the groundwork in Canada for the same type of behavior that's over in the UK. I don't like it. I really don't like this. Online streaming services that operate in Canada offer broadcasting content. See, that's how they get you. Even if you aren't founded or operate within Canada, if you offer the services to Canada, all right, and earn uh, $10 million or more in annual revenues, we'll need to complete a registration for me. You need to make sure, do you got a license for that broadcasting, eh? Uh, by November 28th, 2023. So by the end of the business, I would imagine I'll just go ahead and check the calendar. Final business day of November. No, no, that's a Tuesday day i don't know business or some shit like that registration collects basic information is only required once and can be completed in just a few steps see guys there's nothing easier than a government form <laughs> second the crtc is setting conditions on online streaming services to operate in canada no you weren't supposed to be doing any of that these conditions take effect today Great, and require certain online streaming services to provide the CRTC with information related to the content and subscribership. Oh great, so they get all of that information. But as content creators, we don't have access to that. Fantastic. The decision also requires those services to make the content available in a way that is not tied to a specific mobile or internet service. Yeah, okay, that kind of sounds more like a, um, like a, a TELUS, Rogers, or Bell. That's our ISPs that are up here. So I mean, that sounds like more of a them problem. The third consultation is ongoing as it uh, considers contributions traditional broadcasters and online streaming services will need to make to support Canadian and Indigenous content. But we want you to just register while we're just sussing out the details. The CRTC will hold a three-week public proceeding starting on November 20th, oh, 2023, a week before everybody needs to get registered. Okay, and we will hear uh, from uh, 129 interveners representing a broad range of interests. Yeah, how about you just leave the internet alone? Oh no, that's not allowed. Uh, we are developing a modern broadcasting framework. What's so modern about this? Putting everything under the control of the government? It's not modern at all. A uh, framework that can adapt to changing circumstances. Like what? People speaking out against the government line? Yeah, those are changing. Uh, do, uh, to do that, we need broad engagement and robust public records. We appreciate the significant participation during the first phase and look forward to hearing, oh, shut up, you lying bitch, a diversity of perspectives at our contribution proceeding in November. I'm sure that Vicky Atreides, you sound like a treasonous individual, chairperson, chairwoman, shut up, and chief executive officer of the CRTC. Why is it always a woman being a censor? Starting to notice that stuff too? Quick fact. So social media services must, must register, sorry. However, users do not. They just want all the information on all, all of the users. 
Cool. Online services that offers podcasts must register. However, individuals who use social medias to share podcasts do not. Yes. So we just want access to the podcast that you're platforming. We just don't need those individual podcasters to register. Unless, of course, they make more than $10 million, which why that arbitrary number? Why not $100 million? Why not a million? Why not $100,000? Oh, just those evil top one percenters. A list of registered services will be published to the CRTC's website. Well, fantastic stuff. So yes, in so many draconian ways, what does that mean? Well, you need to go ahead and start the long process of making sure that the government can go ahead and curate your experience because heaven forbid we'd ever have, we'd ever find ourselves in an emergency situation where we would have mis and disinformation spread. We let it go once and God damn it, we could enact our tyrannical plans long enough to affect long-lasting change where you will own nothing and you will be happy no 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 we're making sure that 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 error will be corrected the second time around i see what you fuckers are planning and well i'm also making my own plans as well so if you guys have any states to recommend moving to i'm looking to the middle of the country i think that that would be fun something where you know you could have all four seasons and you don't have the government breathing down your neck any recommendations that would be great so with all that said thank you all very much much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.